Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Rodriguez and I'm here today with Aaron Wong. Um, so excited to be able to introduce you today and talk a little bit about your life. I have a couple questions for you. Would you mind ask, uh, answering for me? No, not at all. Okay, so first question. What led you to start the social media channel, Aaron's Fun Facts? So when I was eight years old, uh, I had this gigantic, huge fun facts book, about 5,000 fun facts. At that time, I read a lot. I loved to read, and now I still do. So this book really inspired me to share more knowledge and information through fun facts to other people. And I realized the way to share this and tell more people is online through YouTube. So I asked my mom, and she helped me a lot with the YouTube channel mm -hmm. and stuff. It all started from that book. Okay. That's the power of reading, guys, and looking at facts and information about life. I'm so happy for you that that was a motivating factor for you. Now, what went into doing this type of work that you've been working on? So, doing this type of work took a lot, uh, starting a YouTube channel took a lot of dedication and discipline because you have to consistently upload, consistently learn, keep creating new fun content mm. as the YouTube algorithm and your audience is constantly changing and so are you. All right. So for me, the biggest challenge was to post consistently at that time. Okay. But thanks to my mom, like editing, uh, directing everything, I mostly had to just practice, be confident, and speak a lot the camera. Mm -hmm. It would be quite frustrating, but that's a part of it, right? I found my passion into sharing fun facts, and that's what I went with. So that's what it took doing. Sounds like one of your biggest supporters was your mama. Yeah. And you put a lot of work, a lot of effort. This was not something easy. Um, what suggestions would you give other kids who are looking and aspiring to do great things with their life? So my suggestions to a kid that would try to, that has big ambitious goals is to start, just start it. Because if you really wanted to achieve that goal, you would have already started. I mean, if you wanted to exercise and start getting more fit, maybe for a sport or just for yourself, you wouldn't make excuses like, oh, I don't have time or, oh, you know, I don't feel like it now, maybe next year. That that's the thin line that's differentiating your purpose and daydreaming. Not only for that, but maybe they want to create a YouTube channel or a social media account. Yeah. Maybe they want to start their own business. It's highly possible. Wonderful. If you really wanted to do it, you might as well just start. Of course, you need to learn on the way and you really need to put a lot of effort into growing. It takes a lot of discipline. So you have to reflect on yourself if it's really your true purpose, if that's really want, uh, what you want to do in life. But again, doing something is always better than doing nothing. Yeah. So I would highly recommend for people to start with their, uh, their goal and learn while at it. Of course, you're going to make some mistakes, but you're going to learn from that. Okay. Uh, you have to get disciplined, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. And probably most important of all, you have to build the habits to put the effort in, build a routine. And most of all, you, you got to really want to do it, right? You mm. have to do the thing, like for example, social media, to because you want to start a social media channel instead of for some other purpose like money or fame. Uh, although, of course, that could also be adding on. It's yeah. not a bad thing necessarily, but just make sure that it all comes from within. Make sure that you have, you, you're not obsessing over it too mm. much and make it take over your life. Be consistent. Uh, always maintain good relationship with your friends and family. Don't be too like arrogant or a jerk about it. Yeah. And most important of all, when you grow, you are going to shed off a lot of friends because you won't be able to relate with them anymore. You don't feel like you don't feel interested in what they like. They don't feel interested in what you like. And most of the times, um, 
which is what happened to me and most people that I know. Yeah. Uh, it's maybe for like someone in a million exception, okay. but your friends are more like partners to do uh, instant gratification with, like okay. um, gossip, or play video games, or like indulge in bad stuff. Oh. Right. But after you you start growing yourself, you're definitely gonna have to get new friends. Uh, and you have to find new people that you are starting to relate with more. Yeah. And for those people who you you don't really relate to them anymore, you don't really like them anymore, they don't really like you anymore, you just have to move on. They're going to move on as well, very mm -hmm. easily. You can give up your friends or you can give up yourself. So make sure you're have good friends because you're just saying I really like you're the sum of the five people you spend most time with so make sure you have good influence that's pretty deep watching out who you're hanging out with um, here's these are some wise words that um, Aaron's sharing with you guys today um, you know see who you're hanging out with what you're doing and I like how he said you got to start you can dream all your life but if you never start you're never getting closer to reaching your goal a lot of parents want to know what suggestions you would give them uh, as far as motivating their children and so forth. Okay. So, of course, I'm not a parent, so I can't take that much, you know, uh, integrity for what I'm saying. But I know that you have to be a good listener because when two people are yelling, uh, if someone's yelling out of like really rage and stuff, yeah, the other one has to listen, or else if they're both yelling, it's just noise okay. and bad feelings. Yeah. So you have to be a good listener, listen to your child, establish a good deep relationship with them where mm. they can trust you and you can trust them. Um, because although this is not entirely true and you always have to have a balance between strict and too s soft, um, not caring and spoil. You always have to find a balance between there and every mm. child is different. Mm. You, the baby doesn't come out with an instructions manual <laughs> because every yeah, like li little thing um, influences them. So everybody's different and everybody has different needs. Uh, okay. Not Some people don't need more needs. Some people don't need less needs. We just need different needs. And the way people think um, how people think people need less mm. needs is that they don't find what they really uh, right okay. i said need a lot but it's okay yeah. and y you need to as a parent you need to encourage and uh, sympathize with your child for every little improvement which works the other way around as well it works for everybody just encourage them stay positive if they show interest in a passion or a mm. dream, make sure that you really um, encourage them to continue studying. And I think they'll do wonders for you and your child, especially you guys' relationship. But again, it's not only from the parent to the child, it's also the child to the parent, but most of the times it has to start with the parent, right? Mm. Definitely. Uh, of course, again, I'm, not, I'm no parent, so I would suggest if you really want to, um, you can go read some books, maybe see some podcasts. Okay. Um, but, but something I know that will work well is to talk with other parents mm. um, and share you guys' problems and overcome them together. Yeah. So I want to highlight one thing he said. It's just listening. Having balance and listening. Sometimes when your child is speaking, they're trying to tell you something and we may not listen or hear what they're saying and that's vitally important so as you can see Aaron has a very busy schedule he's very disciplined but there was one thing he mentioned he's working on creating time to make memories something that's very important to him spending time with family making memories and also enjoying life but at the same time disciplining himself and working towards his goal I want to thank you, Aaron, um, for having this talk with me today. Yeah. Um, Aaron will be going back home to Canada soon, but we were happy to have him here today at school. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great day.